and welcome to Threadheads. Now, as we all know, making your own clothing definitely has some challenges. But with a little practice and perseverance, you only get better. This DIY disaster was sent in to us last week by Nico, who had a little trouble with some stencils. Hello, DIYers. Recently, I tried to make a stencil of my hero, Bruce Campbell. The stencil came out all right, except I made a lot of mistakes on the way. One, I made the stencil out of regular paper, and it worked perfectly first time on the shirt. And then I just made the stupid mistake of trying to do it again with the same paper. I tried to fix that by spraying it all over with, with some more spray paint. That really ended badly. So then I tried to fix that with a trusty old bleach pen. So now I've got the destroyed shirt. See? Yeah. Bad. How would one recuperate from this kind of mistake? Alright, this is totally our fault. Um, my fault. <gasps> See, uh, on Chris's episode, I kind of forgot to include this crucial clip. Alright, next you're gonna want to get yourself some acetate. Acetate is a real thin, paper-like plastic. You're gonna want to get some spray adhesive. Just do a light coat on your stencil. Lay it down. And then you're going to get some flat black spray paint, go over it really quickly. When you peel this off after it dries, you're going to have a stencil on here that you're going to have to recut again. So I'll get a hundred sprays out of it. Whereas this, I'll get maybe two and I'm done. And all that work is for nothing. My bad. So here's what we did. We first had to make a replica of Nico's shirt to see what we were dealing with. Definitely a mess. But with a little thing called creativity, we're gonna turn this thing around. Your first move, grab a piece of cardboard, draw and cut a rectangle that's bigger than your disaster area, place it over your trouble spot, and with some more spray paint, cover up your mess. Now since this lesson is about creativity, try using your new rectangle stencil to make different shapes and patterns on your shirt. All right, now we're grabbing some old t-shirt material, and with a pack of stencils you can get at your local drugstore for about two bucks, we're writing out, Bruce Campbell for Prez. Now cut them out, place them where you want them on your shirt, and pin them down. Corinne actually came by and taught me a new stitch called the whip stitch. You simply knot your thread, poke your needle through the back side of your shirt, and through your two pieces of fabric. Now diagonally thread your needle through the first layer of fabric you're sewing onto, and repeat. It creates a cool bunching effect and looks pretty punk rock, so we added them on to some of the corners and sewed the rest on. Lastly, we threw on an 08 for the upcoming elections, added some more spray paint, and badam! One DIY disaster salvaged into a masterpiece. Hopefully this helps, but if not, you could always use it to wash your car or as a hanky or something. <laughs> and here's a few more DIY disasters to avoid. Like the self haircut. Yep, we've all been there. Applying makeup while driving. Bad idea. And the old needle through the finger. For more stories of pain and woe, head over to the forums and check out Lady Jane Writer's thread, Owie Ow Ow Ouch our DIY injuries. Got a fashion disaster or DIY dilemma of your own? Send in some pics and we'll try to help you out. When we return, more DIY excitement and mystery. At first, when my village received electricity, we were ecstatic. Then came computers and the internet. One day, I happened upon Threadbanger.com. And there I discovered, with great joy, Threadheads, with Rob and Corinne. How does one say in English, they rock so hard. Thank you, my life has changed forever. DIY or die, I give you two finger. Well, on the forums this week, a few of you questioned, who are Rob and Corinne? Well, this week we take you inside our secret DIY layer for a closer look. Here, I'll show you around. All right, here we go, the grand tour. We got the couch, uh, a little TV living room action. Uh, here we got the, the green screen, which takes up literally like three quarters of our dining room. The kitchen, some dirty dishes over there. Uh, oh, hey, there, hi, how are you? Um, go back here into the, uh, to the office. We have Corinne working on a, another episode hastily twirling her hair all nervous and then we got the bedroom off limits and uh, I think that's about it 
This week, Crystal Kyrie posted an awesome camisole she made out of an old skirt. X Director X made this super cool hoodie from the Craftster.org tube we posted. And Mama Sass sent in this sweet necklace she made from old pins. We had a little bit of our own DIY mishap this week. Devin, not Derek, sent in these earrings that she made. Sorry about that. Well, that's it for this week's episode. Make sure you join us next week for our bitchin' back-to-school special. Got any tips for cool school gear? Send them on in! Till then.